I think it's worth taking you back to the 2010 season mm -hmm. because, I mean, it shows just how far you've come yeah. as a player because that season obviously Tough. troubling yeah. for you, not only professionally, personally yeah. um, as well. The one column uh, read about you, quote, dreaded going to work to play <laughs> the game he grew up loving. How much truth? I mean, it was just a tough, tough, tough year all the way around. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I, I, I stopped having fun. And, and that's probably the, the biggest thing that you probably shouldn't do when you're playing baseball, is stop having fun. Uh, we, we, we were all frustrated. Um, you know, we weren't playing good. We weren't making the playoffs. We were, you know, getting, you know, whooped, whooped day in and day out. And, you know, it was definitely frustrating. So it, it, it kind of didn't get fun for me. And, you know, that's when it kind of just all went the way it went. To what extent do you feel like people within the Dodgers organization had given up on you at that point? You know, I don't think they had given up on me. I just thought they were frustrated like I was frustrated. And, uh, you know, you know, when we're not winning and things aren't going the way we want them to go, then, you know, people are going to get frustrated. So it's just one big team frustrated. But there was some, I mean, just biting criticism directed your way that year. I mean, some people said some really negative things. You're then a uh, bench coach. He, he said his work habits were terrible. It looked like he stopped trying. I know he was a good person, but the effort wasn't there. Hey, that's his opinion. But st that still gets to you to... I mean... You say the work ethic wasn't there. I tried hard all the time. I never gave up. I never wasn't out there not trying. So for somebody to say that I just given up and wasn't trying is not true. Did did it hurt then? I mean, some of the things that I mean because I mean when you say when you like for me, I feel like a coach should never go to a, the media and say those types of comments. Like if you want to say those things, you say those to me personally. You do it behind closed doors. You don't publicly go out and say he's not trying he's not doing this he's not doing that that's just not to me that's not that's not how how it works and it wasn't just the coach I mean it was the yeah. general manager too. you know it, th and that's something that me and me and Ned had to you know talk about as men and uh you know that's something that we got over and right. you know I always I can always forgive and forget and uh that's what we did and, and you asked for that meeting I mean yeah. how do you like, you know, take me into that room when, I mean, you're, you know, feeling yeah, like these mad. people are yeah. just beating up on you for, you know. I mean, uh, for me, I just feel like, you know, I work hard. And, you know, when things don't go right, of course, I'm going to be frustrated. And, and uh, you know, when somebody tries to even make it even worse with saying certain comments or things like that, it's going to make me even more mad. So, you know, it is, it is what it is. It happened. It's something that I learned and, and made me a stronger person. And, uh, you know, you forget about those things. What did it feel like when you were being booed by the uh, home crowd? That, 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 that probably hurt the most out of anything. And, of course, I probably would have booed myself the way I was playing, too. You know, the fans, they, they expected me to be, you know, the, the, one of the best players out there. I wasn't, you know, performing the way I should have been performing, and uh, maybe I deserve to get booed. Yeah. It, it, gave, it, it, it opened my eyes. <laughs> it opened your eyes? It opened my eyes a little bit more. Maybe I just needed to get better. You, I, mean, you, you, I mean, you said in an article that, that you're, I mean, made you cry. You know, like, just for me, like I said, I've never, I've never experienced failure. And that year I felt like I failed, and it was kind of, kind of took me off guard and didn't know how to really react. You know, at, at times there would be, I'd have a bad game and I'd be so frustrated and like, what's going on? What's wrong with me? Like, I'm used to doing good. And it, it just is something I, I, I couldn't quite figure out, but you know, it happens, it's life. What do you think you learned from that period? It ha definitely helped me with my, my mental side of, of playing baseball. It made me stronger. Because your mom says, had you not <clears throat> gone through that, she does, not only doesn't think you'd be the person you are today, mm -hmm. but you wouldn't have had as much success as you've had I now. Definitely, I think that's definitely true. That's why. I mean, but why? I, I just feel like 2010 helped me. It just all around all the experience that I, that I experienced in 2010. It just really opened my eyes, and and uh, I, I learned a lot from it. And I probably wouldn't be in this position today if I didn't go through those things. I promise you that. <laughs>